Despite having not had the 2023 France World Cup yet, it's always nice to look further ahead into the future and what the England rugby national team will look like in five years' time. So we've taken the time to predict how England would line up if they were to reach the 2027 Rugby World Cup final. 15. The first player on this list who may not come as a surprise to anyone is now Premiership winner and England regular Freddie Stewart. The Leicester Tigers fullback already has 13 international caps under his belt at the age of 21 and will be expected to be in the prime of his career at 26 in five years' time, making him an absolute shoe in for the fullback shirt in this scenario. 14. Closely followed by this guy, Henry Arundel made 2022 his year, pulling off wonder moment after wonder moment, catapulting his way into international contention fresh out of Harrow School. Still a teenager, the winger slash fullback made an instant impact for the national team, scoring against Australia with his first touch on debut. The London Irish superstar will be a firm household name come 2027. 13. Will Joseph. Following in the footsteps of his brother Jonathan, I believe Will may even succeed his older sibling and become a firm favourite for the 13 shirt over the course of the next few years. The current London Irish Academy player has already made his Premiership debut and has been part of one of Eddie Jones' training squads at the age of 20 and I think he'll make a perfect partnership with our next selection at Inside Centre. 12. Tom Litchfield The Northampton Saints youngster made his Premiership debut last season. His strength and power are standout in his game, something which England have been lacking in the midfield since a fit Manu Tualangi was available. Litchfield's club teammate Fraser Dingwall is hard done by not to be included in the squad, having been on the fringes of the England team for the past few years. Number 11. Caden Murley. A tough call between a plethora of wingers who could end up in this spot, but I have decided, in true Eddie Jones fashion, to go for a slight dark horse in this position. Despite not yet receiving a cap, Caden Murray has been knocking on the England door for some time and with his form hitting the peak during the start of this season, he may be starting to creep into Eddie Jones' thoughts ahead of this year's World Cup in France. Nevertheless, I predict that by 2027, at the age of 28, he'll be firmly rooted within this national setup. A brief mention to Tommy Freeman, who I would have occupying the 23 shirt in this team, a versatile back three saint having already earned two caps for his country at the time of recording. Number 10. Marcus Smith. Shall I move on? It's clear that Smith is not only one of the first names on any England rugby team sheet now, but for many, many years to come. Orchestrating Harlequin's premiership win back in 2021, the icing on the cake, stamping his name on both the Australia tour with England this year and a brief spell on the South African Lions tour last, a name which will be etched into English folklore for years to come. On the bench, this was a slightly more difficult choice, but I've gone with Marcus's namesake, Finn Smith, who has recently made the move over to Northampton Saints, which for me will be the making of his career. A talented 10 who had a tough time of it at Worcester, Smith could catapult his way into international contention if he can hit the ground running in Northampton. Orlando Bailey, Charlie Atkinson and George Furbank all unlucky to miss out in the 23. 9. Jack Van Portfleet a much trickier position to select from in comparison to the previous. There are many candidates for this role, including Harry Randall, Alex Mitchell and Rafi Quirk, but I have to give it to the Leicester man. Almost a complete regen of fellow Tiger Ben Youngs, I believe Van Portfleet will have a similarly prosperous England career, having scored on debut. For the replacement nine, I've gone with a slightly left field shout, Jake Garside. Now, some of you may not have even heard of this name, but Garside has been superb at age grade level, pulling off some world-class scores with unbelievable pace and skill. Currently on loan at Bedford Blues, the Saint has already made his Northampton debut, and I think he will catapult himself into international contention within the next few years and make a considerable impact off the bench when needed. Number 8. Zach Mercer. Heading into the forwards now, and this was a nailed-on name for me. Despite there being much competition around the eight shirt for England in recent years, being the bane of most England fans' existence a few years ago when Eddie Jones just refused to pick Sam Simmons, I think Zach Mercer, on his return to the Premiership in 2023, will nail down the England shirt. Alex Dombrandt is another option in this position, but I believe that on his return to Gloucester from an extremely successful stint at Montpellier, Mercer will shine. Number 7. Henry Pollock the talk of rugby town at the moment. 
17-year-old Henry Pollock scored a brace for Northampton Saints on his senior debut while still at school. And if that doesn't tell you what a superstar this guy is going to be, then, well, I don't know what will. A generational player who seems to have it all. I believe that Pollock will be hitting his prime at the age of 22 by the time the World Cup rolls around, making him prime pick for the seven shirt. On the bench, however, I have put Tom Pearson, a slightly underrated pick, but Pearson has been on the fringe of the England squad for the past few months and after some impressive performances for London Irish in the Prem, a Mr Reliable to bring on after 60 minutes may be exactly what Eddie Jones wants. 6. Alfie Barbary Rounding off what I think is the best balanced back row England could ever see, Alfie Barbary is my shout for blindside flanker for England in the 2027 World Cup. Despite being plagued with injury in recent times, Barbary broke onto the scene in fine fashion during the 2019-20 season, moving from hooker to the back row and finding some incredible form. With Wasps now no more, Barbary will be sought after by many Prem Rugby teams. Bristol Bears seem favourites, and I believe he will go from strength to strength at Ashton Gate, firming up his place in not only the England squad, but the starting 15. 4 and 5. George Martin and Ollie Chesham. These two, for me, go hand in hand. The two Tigers have been on the fringes of the England squad and I believe could set up a really good combination in the lock for England over the coming years. Despite playing the majority of rugby at blindside, I do believe Martin can do a job in the second row and with Eddie Jones at the helm, you won't doubt him trying. Both will be in their primes heading into this World Cup, and with 32-year-old Mario Toje used as a squad player to give these two ultimate experience and knowledge, I believe it could be the perfect package. On the bench, wearing 19, I've put Hugh Tizard. The now Saracens lock is yet to make his England debut at the time of recording, but it seems that it's only a matter of time before the former Quinn puts on a white shirt, and I believe he'll take to it like a duck to water, and become England's latest unsung hero for many years to come. 3. Will Stewart. The front row is a very tough call, as the majority of props don't hit their prime until much later on in their careers. It was a 50-50 for me between Stewart and Hayes, who I've put on the bench wearing 18, and I would argue it may even come down to the better player during that tournament. Stewart has certainly taken his chances so far within his England career, with Sinclair ahead of him for the majority of his time in the international frame. But with age on the Bathman's side, at the age of 31, by 2027, it will be Stewart's shirt for the taking. His main challenge will be Joe Hayes, slightly younger than Stewart. It will be a tasty battle between those two in the starting positions for the international side. Number 2. Sam Riley Having been an immovable player in Alan Dickens' under-20s team, I believe Riley will be able to translate that form into the senior team and break through at Harlequins in the next few years to take the starting shirt for club and country. On the bench, I'd choose Jamie Belamaya. The 24-year-old Falcon will be in his prime come this World Cup, and with national experience already underneath his belt, he will fit right in for England in the coming years. Number 1. Bevan Rod The first name in my front row, Bevan Rod seems nailed on to be the next superstar in the scrum for England. Only 22, but regularly starting for sale sharks, Rod is nailed on for success, leading the charge for the next generation of looseheads. On the bench... Finn Baxter, another exciting loose head with bags of potential hitting the headlines after he won the infamous St. Joe's Schoolboy Rugby Festival with Wellington at the age of 18, then making his debut for Quinns in the Premiership at the age of 19. Baxter is certainly an exciting prospect, expected to be at his peak by the time the 2027 World Cup rolls around. Well, there we go, a mammoth video completed with some big calls made. Comment down below who you think we missed out in this 23, and please do like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.